So cool. But tell us how once they leave here and now they go to high school, are, are they well-rounded for that? Do they blend in well? Is it more difficult or is it easier because now they have this great base to go from? What well, in terms of being easier or harder, all of my former students from North Carolina and Harlem said so much easier oh, okay. because the expectation of what I had for them was really, really high. I believe in teaching to the top. You know, the, the higher your expectation, the higher they'll achieve. But the teachers so, love you. Yeah. I, and, thank you, Ron Clark. But I wish they would carry that on and continue teaching to the top. So a lot of the kids when they leave, and I'm sure these kids when they leave here, they'll go to classes and they'll say, well, this is easy. I can handle this and it's not a problem. So in terms of being successful, they tend to be very successful when they go to high school. Do most of them go on to public high school, private high school, a little of both? Um, a little of both. Okay. It, it, it just depends. And what we're doing now is we're working really hard to develop relationships with different private schools in Atlanta, the surrounding areas. And I'm sure some of these kids probably will hopefully end up, end up on scholarship going to some of those schools. And some will go back to really good public schools because there are some good high school public schools in Atlanta. But wherever they go, we're going to make sure we, we stay in touch with them and help them through the process. And my first group of fifth graders I ever taught, it was a challenging group in North Carolina. And I said, listen to me. I said, I promise you, if you'll all stay in college until you're in 11th grade, I'll take you on a college tour trip. We'll go to all these college dorms, and we'll learn all about how to apply for college. And then when those kids got to 11th grade, they started calling me. They said, hey, Mr. Clark, remember that trip you promised? I was like, oh, no, now i got to do this trip. And so I do it every year, and I'll do it for these kids as well. And no one in my family on either side ever, had ever been to college. Okay. And so, but to now take kids who no one in their family has been to college and to see them get their feet on a college campus and to see them stand there and to say, oh, Mr. Clark, is that a dorm? I thought a dorm had a round top. I'm like, no, buddy, that's a dome. This is a dorm. And then we sit in a college class, and they'll say, hey, Mr. Clark, I can understand what that professor's saying. I could go to school here. I'm like, of course you can. Yeah. Then we help them with their application, financial aid, and now to see those kids go to college, be successful. And I have kids I taught fifth grade who were labeled at risk who have now graduated college and are now teachers themselves. Teachers, so, doctors, lawyers, anything they want to be. It's all about just believing in kids and just giving them the ability and the opportunities to be successful. I can tell you really love what you do. You are yes. so 100% in this room, 100% care about them. And I think the kids can tell, because when I was asking you about that balance, to strict, to love them, they know first how much you care. Then is when they care how much you know. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great balance, and that you're with them through all that is just absolutely amazing. Do you have a specific best success story for one of your kids? Oh, my gosh, so many success stories. I guess in New York City, I had just a... a I don't know if they made a movie about my nice. teaching experience. It's called The Ron Clark Story, and it was just a very squirrely group of kids. It was a <laughs> great came. movie. You've got to see it. They're yes. very challenging, and, and all that year, I just believed in those kids and believed in them. And at the school, there were two gifted classes, middle classes, low classes, and then my class had 37 kids. And I worked so hard with them, and they loved to double dutch, so I learned to double dutch. <laughs> they loved to rap, so I would rap my lessons. And I did anything I could to get those kids excited about learning. And most importantly, I just believed in them and that's what we all need to do as adults we have to believe in kids see their potential and get them to realize their potential and at the end of the year those kids test scores were through the roof they out tested the low classes the middle classes and the gifted classes and then those kids went on to such great things and I'm so proud of them and what's cool I took my students from here in Atlanta to New York City, I mean to Washington DC went to Howard University and one of my former students from New York who was there on full scholarship gave them a tour of the campus and so oh. moments like that are, are really really special. That is so neat. Well yeah definitely if you have not seen the Ron Clark story it really touched me. I love that. I even love the, the extras at the end. You want to know what happened to these kids and Matthew Perry played your life story so it's yes. a definitely definitely a one to see. Watch it with your family. Loved it. Loved the books as well and what I like to ask my guest this is a no-brainer here today. My show is called Live Your Legacy because I hope to share and inspire people to be living their legacy and help viewers at home start or keep living their legacy. You are definitely leaving a legacy because you're working with these wonderful kids. How do you want to be remembered when all this is over? How do you want all these kids to remember you the day you're not here anymore? How do I want the kids to remember me? Yes, and then how do you want to leave your legacy? Um, I just hope the kids, I hope they look at me as a person who would run through a brick wall if I thought that's what needed to happen and somebody who just went for it and was positive and just had passion for life and who didn't let anything stand in the way of my dreams. I had big dreams and I was determined to make them happen. I hope those kids, when they think of me, they think of that and I hope that stays with them throughout life and that they always remember, you know what, if I have big dreams, I can do it. If I do like Mr. Clark, if I fight hard, work hard, 
run through a brick wall, I can make these things happen. So I hope they take that passion with them. That's how I want them to remember me. What I want my legacy to be, I don't, I don't think much about a legacy, but I just hope that, um, I've seen a lot of things that have bothered me in education in our country. Um, the focus on testing and, and kids who are unhappy in schools, and, and just I've seen just a lot of things that, that bother me. And so I hope that by having 3,000 superintendents and teachers come here a year, and, and by having them see what passion and innovation can create, and how kids can get excited about learning if we set the tone that we're excited. I hope my legacy is that that spark, that passion we've created here in Atlanta will carry through to schools all over the world. And I think it's great that people will start to say, if you want to see the best education in the world, if you want to really see phenomenal education, go to Georgia and go to Atlanta and go to that school. I want Atlanta and Georgia to be known as the place where you come to truly find out about the best way to educate kids. And that's why we do need the community to be involved with our school, support to support school. our school. Um, all the money for my books is gone. And so <laughs> we, have the, we have the school, we have Dell to Intercontinental Hotels, we have Dell Computers and other sponsors, but we are constantly in need of funding for our school. We really need help, and if anyone's interested in donating and becoming part of our family, they can visit our website, ronclarkacademy.com, to learn out how you can get involved and to help us make a difference for not only our students, but a difference around the world. And because these kids are going to be the ones going around the world. This is our future right here. Yes. So it's amazing. So we can actually sponsor children and help them come to the school as well. Definitely. Which is great. I just love the way it's all hands-on, reaching out. Teachers can come and learn. Kids can come from this school and go out and really participate in life and not just go out and just barely make it and again this is such a perfect fit with my show it's trying to encourage the viewers not just to barely make it day to day nine to five and your dreams are not happening and I know a lot of your kids are going to be watching this show and when you said you're the type of person that'll break through a wall to make your dreams come true I'll give you a testimony that your kids can 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 know that I'm not supposed to be able to speak I had cancer eight years ago, and they took out one of my vocal cords along with a lot of other things, part of my lungs, and they said I would never speak again above a whisper, and this was eight years ago. And today, not only am I speaking, I have a talk show. And I love to let people know, don't let anything stop you from your dreams coming true, because if you have enough faith in people like you, believing in these kids, encouraging them every day, I love what you said in, the, in your uh, class today, you said, you can do it, I believe in you. You didn't give him the answer. You gave him confidence to know that, don't look at me, you can do it. And that's so amazing. And I hope more teachers learn from you because you're an amazing person, an amazing teacher, and so is your co-founder, Kim. This is just an amazing school, an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you for being with us here today. No and this is not the end. I have a surprise for you in just a moment, so don't go away, because Mr. Ron Clark here has started something quite amazing, and I have to be initiated in, in a very special way. So do not go away. It's going to be the ride of my life. Don't move. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, I'm very honored to come to this school, and I just love it. I feel like I'm very blessed to come to this school. Very proud of myself, all the stuff that I've been through and I came this far. I know what to do in my life now. To tell you the truth, I really couldn't care less when it came to math, but now math is like, I like math. I'm starting to really like math. I want to be a teacher now because I didn't always think that learning was fun before I came here, so I want to be like more like Mr. Clark and all the other teachers so I can like um, help other people that were like me that didn't learn well. I want to touch their lives like Mr. Clark has touched my life. such an example to the community. Great job. Thank you for giving me the ride of my life. I hope you come back with us again next time at Live Your Legacy. Don't forget to live your legacy because these kids are living their legacy. Say goodbye, kids. Bye! Bye.